Hey there, Cancer Leo Cuspers. This is Eric. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for being here. So this is going to be a general energy reading for you for your month of March. Now keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is dated for the month of March doesn't mean it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you in that moment. Uh, keep in mind that this is also a general reading, all right? And so there could be some cross watchers that are watching. All right. And so um, if you are a cross watcher and you're watching and I'm speaking to the Cancer Leo Cusper, but it actually resonates for your side of the equation, then take it as it resonates. Yeah. Um, so this is something new that we're doing here on the channel. It was demand it was by popular demand. And I'm very, very happy to facilitate that for you guys. Um, this is going to be very similar to the readings that I did for March. So if you're new to the channel and you're not familiar with that, then I highly recommend that you watch the full sign readings for the month of March. Um, and so I'm an oracle. I'm, I'm, my reading style has changed to a more of an oracle base. And then I use the tarot cards to clarify things. Um, and in this reading, I'm not going to be getting into love. I'm just going to be looking at the general messages for you at this time. All right. Okay. So if you are, if you would be a cancer Leo cusper, if you were born during this time, uh, uh, July 19th through the 25th. Okay. So that's for this little chunk of people here. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's see what we've got for you guys. Hi spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all cancer Leo cuspers at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of March 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. So um, I'm hearing for you, I'm hearing Cancer Leo Cuspers, you guys, or whomever I'm channeling for, it feels like some of you are living in a fear-based reality, um, and wisdom is coming into the picture, and I guess you're starting to understand that, or at least you're starting to become aware of that, which for some of you could be um, bringing forward even more fear, right? Because not only are you, do you live in a fear-based reality already, or at least have a fear-based mentality, but now that you're becoming aware of that and things are starting to change, or you're aware that because of your awareness, you now have to start making some changes, that could be instilling some fear into you as well. But with that said, let's get into the cards here. I'm gonna do this five, ooh, let's try that again. I'm gonna give this five shuffles and then we'll see what we've got for you, yeah? One. Two, for my Cancer Leo Cuspers. Three, four, Cancer Leo Cuspers, and five. Let's see what we've got for you guys. Alrighty. Um, I just got bend and snap. You guys ever watch Legally Blonde? The way I said five like that made me think of the bend and snap. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's something, maybe that's something that you guys have, like that's a thing for you. Or I don't know where that came from. Doesn't matter. It was funny. Okay. Let's see what we, whoop. Ooh. Well. One, two, three, four. Okay, one more card, please, Spirit. Your cards just popped right out there. Wow. Okay. So we have overall energy is a woman holding a coin. Okay, so we could be talking to, uh, uh, specifically, I just picked up that we're talking to some females, some women, or some men that are more femininely oriented on more of that identify more with the Leo side of things. Also, if you're a man or more masculinely oriented, 
you could be coming to terms with a more your more feminine side of the situation, your emotions, I heard specifically. But there is a balance between masculine and feminine here for you because then you also have the thinking man, okay? The other cards you have here are door to spirit, contract, door to personal healing and happiness, walking away, thinking man, and community, all right? So fear-based reality, hive mind mentality, the community. I see the community as like the three of cups in the traditional tarot. Um, and I'm looking at this contract card and I'm kind of getting time is up, uh, especially with walking away here. All right. So what, and it's in terms of this fear-based reality, it's a fear-based reality that, reality that has been instilled within you by your surroundings, by your environment, by your family, by your friends, by your colleagues, by your, your professors, your teachers, your guides, your mentors, whatnot, whatever. This was something that you learned. It was an acquired thing, especially for someone, because I'm really, I'm getting very strong Leo energy with this. So this is someone that probably is closer to the Leo side of things, or maybe really resonates very strongly with Leo energy, even though like you're still on that cusp. Um, and especially with cancer, you know, you're on the cusp of cancer, cancer being a sign of like friends and family and, and all that kind of stuff and nurturance and all that. Your community and, and Leo too, don't get me wrong. Leo is very prideful and very protective of the people that they love and the people that they cherish and especially like their family and stuff like that. So uh, with you being a cusper here, it's like you almost have a double dose of community influence. Okay, taking the opinions and the thought processes and the beliefs of your community very seriously. But this is to a detriment to you because in essence, with door to spirit here, it's kind of cut you off from your belief in the universe, your belief in the unknown, whether this is something that you believed in the past and then that changed because of the people around you, or this is something that, you know, your soul knows. I mean, ultimately, it's every, it's our soul knows all of this, right? Our soul is intrinsically aware of how powerful we are and how we can manifest with ease. But then we come into this three-dimensional world and we're basically indoctrinated within it and then we lose sight of all that. I mean, we, when, we, when we incarnate into these lives anyway, we cross the veil of forgetfulness, so, which is very strong. So we forget everything about who we truly are, right? But with door to spirit here, you have the opportunity to reconnect with that. You have the opportunity to put this contract to rest. It's a soul contract, okay? And you're, you have the ability to walk away from what doesn't serve you and walk right through a doorway to personal healing and happiness, okay? But you're really thinking about this, really thinking about this, the thinking man here, all right? It's, so it's, it's almost as if maybe you were in a situation and maybe this is specific to your energy or maybe this is just a hypothetical or just like, you know, uh, something, a symbology of some sort. But um, maybe you were in a situation where the, the beliefs that you've been indoctrinated into or the belief system or the lifestyle or, or, or the belief system that you've at least adopted is like extremely superstitious or at least something that you personally would consider to be super superstitious, right? Um, and But now you're thinking it through and saying, well, wait a second, it actually doesn't have to be that way if I don't want it to be that way. There is definitely an energy of breaking free from the hive mind and, and energy. And with this woman holding a coin energy, I'm, I'm getting two different things. One, this is for someone who is more femininely oriented or at least a woman. But two, it's like you're bringing feminine principles of receptivity and magnetism and magic and mystery and, and, and psychic ability and all that stuff. It's like you're grounding that into the physical, practical world instead of it being such a an esoteric thing, something that's all woo woo, you know, that's all, all you know, all the crazy like mystical stuff. It's like, no, you're actually practically bringing it down to earth to use it or to the ground to use it in practical ways. So fear-based mentality in this sense would be, you know, not, you can't rely on spirit to pay your bills. Well, actually, yes, you can. If you fall, if you maintain your alignment with that, 
which also would be uh, what the Queen of Wands would represent. And I'm kind of seeing a Queen of Wands energy in this woman holding a pentacle or holding a coin. Technically, if you really want to um, uh, associate it with a tarot card, this would probably be the Queen of Pentacles. But uh, the, the energy that I'm getting from this, especially since we're talking about Cancer Leo Cusper and Leo is a fire sign, I'm definitely getting Queen of Wands energy with this, but also with that black cat because the Queen of Wands has the black cat on there and the black cat can symbolize magic. But it's like the Queen of Wands, in my opinion, as a reader, represents is a physical embodiment of the law of attraction, right? Getting into alignment with what you want and then allowing it to come to you. But fear-based thinking or a fear-based reality or mentality would say, you can't do that. You have to work for it. You have to grind for it. You have to get up every day, crack, ass crack a dawn, and do everything that you possibly can to make sure that you have your finances in order. I mean, sure, you could live that way. But the thinking man says, wait a second, I don't have to. Ah. ah, see, okay. So I definitely see you guys walking away from something. Walking away from things that continue to hold you back. No longer allowing yourself to be held back. I know that's right, y'all. All right, I'm gonna get into the tarot here. I wanna get a little bit of clarification for you. I want to clarify, the first thing I want to clarify is this door to personal healing and happiness. One last shuffle here for you guys. For my Cancer Leo Cuspers. Ah, yeah. All right, let's see what we've got for you. What is this door to personal healing and happiness for my Cancer Leo Cuspers, please, spirit? Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Over oh, wow. Look at this, y'all. Overall energy is the hanged man. Change in perspective. It also represents being stuck and stagnant and and what I want to say is don't bemoan what you've been through or what you've experienced because ultimately it served to teach you a lesson. It served to help facilitate this change in perspective for you. So now that you can break free of this, you have the nine of cups with the moon, the three of cups, which in my opinion is this community card or even I'm hearing for you guys specifically hive mind mentality. Um, very interesting. I am going to link in this video um, I'll put a card up at the top right of your screen, but also at the very end, I'll put a link to the video that I did for morning coffee for today. Today is March 4th, I believe. Um, but it was very much talking about this topic. And as I'm going through this reading, I'm being reminded of it. So I'm going to, I'm going to put that in there. I highly recommend if you resonate with this reading, then you should probably watch that morning coffee reading that I did. Um, but I'm definitely hearing hive mind mentality with this three of cups. You have the four of pentacles and you have the king of cups. All right. There are also some other cards that are falling out here, but I'm going to get to those in a second because right now I want to talk about this door to personal healing and happiness. Okay. So this nine of cups is that your personal healing and happiness. Your, this nine of cups is satisfaction, but often this is satisfaction in a solitary way. This is you standing, it's very similar to the, like the nine of pentacles energy where like you're standing on your own two feet, you're standing on your own, you're financially abundant, you're, 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 you're self-made um, and you're content in, in your own skin, right? This is a similar in, in energy where it's very solitary but this is contentment and happiness and fulfillment, wish fulfillment, but wish fulfillment on an individual scale. Not necessarily what everyone else thinks should be your wish, wish fulfillment with the Three of Cups, but what you think that is. With the moon here, it's illumination, coming out of the cycle, breaking out of the darkness, seeing clearly, breaking the cycle, of holding on to this hive mind mentality with the three of cups and the four of pentacles. And ultimately you have the king of cups here, emotional ma maturity. Being able to look someone in the face and say, look, I know that's how you live your life or I know that's what you feel this is, but that's not what I resonate with. And I'm mature enough right now to, to let this go and to say, look, there's no ill will between us. Maybe there is some ill will. I don't know, it depends. 
but at least being emotionally mature enough to look someone in the face and tell them what is true, tell them what is true to you, what is really on your heart, and being able to deal with the consequences, whether they leave your life or not. And then you have, to, wow, oh my God, guys. You have two more cards that have fallen out. Um, yep, and this first card that fell out is the emperor, and that fell out on the door to spirit. So this is, this is you taking your power back and walking through that door to spirit, being the master of your own life, being the master of your own domain, and, say, and being the shot caller here, saying, yes, I will do that, or no, I won't do that. But here in this situation, I feel like you're saying, whoops, I feel like you're saying yes to walking through this door to spirit and opening up to all of the gifts that you have at your disposal, all of your abilities, your ability to manifest whatever it is you want or need by working with the universe, by getting into alignment with it. And then finally, which has fallen out on the contracts card, you have the five of cups, but it's in reverse. Well, would you look at that? Someone's not feeling so bad about this anymore. And actually, these two cards could really go together. Taking your power back, owning your life, and not being ashamed of it. I feel like, especially since this five of cups is in reverse here, I kind of feel like y'all have been crying over this for far too long, or at least you're all cried out. I'm all cried out, right? Ain't nothing to cry about no more. It's time to get this show on the road, hunty. Can I get a motherfucking amen? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, kids. So I am going to close out this reading here for you. And I just want to get some final closing messages from the Moonology deck, yeah? Mm -hmm. Last shuffle. Oops. Okay. Here you go. Closing message, please, Spirit, for my Cancer Leo Cuspers. Okay. Overall energy is third quarter moon. Adjustments are required. Well, would you look at that? <laughs> okay. And then you have a number of cards here. You have disseminating moon. Take time to breathe out, so breathe. Especially for those of you that are on the cancer side or resonate a lot with cancer energy. Breathe, it's gonna be okay, I promise, <laughs> all right? You have full moon eclipse, conclusions are within reach. And then you have full moon in Leo, don't let your pride get in the way. And it's so funny because I just had to redo the Aries Taurus Cusper reading because for some reason that reading did not want to upload onto YouTube and like fully process. So I redid that reading for them. Funny story, it was the same message that came through in the beginning in the first time I did it, so that was pretty cool. But they also got this card as their closing message. Don't let your pride get in the way. Leo, especially those of you that resonate with Leo energy, don't let your pride get in the way. Don't let your ego cause you to make snap judgments. What I'm getting specifically is don't let you, don't allow your pride to cause you to, to like react in some pretty low vibrational ways. You don't want to do that. Stay in your high ground. And that's the same thing I said to the Aries Taurus cuspers, stay in your high ground. But now in terms of what it is you're walking away from or leaving behind, your ego or your pride has been in the way the whole time because you knew you needed to surrender to spirit somehow or surrender to your higher self and take up this change in perspective. And you know what's so funny? We have the King of Cups on the table, but the Queen of Cups is, <laughs> the Queen of Cups is underneath the hanged man and underneath that is the, higher, is the hermit. Underneath that is the Seven of Wands. Underneath that is the Nine of Pentacles. Underneath that is the Page of Wands, which is talking about rediscovering yourself Good Lord, guys. You have the five of wands under that. So you've got people arguing with you, telling you this isn't the right thing to do. You can't do that. That's not going to work. But then under that, you've got the empress, which is talking about abundance, okay, and unconditional love. The universe never, ever saying no to you about anything. 
just maybe redirecting you to bring you what it is, a better version of what it is you think you're asking for. Underneath that is the fucking fool. Underneath that is the sun. I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> come on. I mean, this is, kind of turning, this is kind of turning into an extended reading, but for those of you that aren't quite aware of what's going on here, don't, or you're not that familiar with the tarot, you have, first of all, you have cancer here with the Queen of Cups. You could always also see it with the King of Cups, but you have a balance, emotionally balanced, masculine and feminine energy. And that's what I saw with the thinking man and the woman holding a coin here, okay? So you have a balance between masculine and feminine energy. You have an understanding, or at least you have the potential to understand your feelings and emotions, and then you have the potential to take action on that between the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. And then you have the, the hermit, which is talking about self-identity, which is talking about your sense of individuality, which is talking about who you truly are. Letting your light shine. After, right after that is the seven of wands, boundaries, saying, skr, actually, no. This is what I'm doing. Because I can, in fact, think for myself, nine of pentacles. And that's what, and I was talking about this nine of pentacles energy when I was talking about the nine of cups, right? And then you have, the page of wands, which I see as a reader, as a minor arcana version of the hermit. So this energy that you're, or whatever it is you're identifying here in your life with the hermit energy, then you have a chance to redefine yourself on the surface, page of wands. And then here comes the arguments. Here comes the peanut gallery. Here comes the, the, the all the other people in the external reality trying to tell you what to do with your life. And you know what you do with that? You do a little bit of this. Skirt! Stop right there. I have the abundance of the universe at my back. I am going to take this leap of faith, and everything is going to be okay. So I'm going to need you to fall back and not cross the line. There you have it, guys. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yep, take care. Mwah. Bye.